As transportation costs rise, disposal regulations become increasingly restrictive, and more cuttings are classified as hazardous waste. Cuttings reinjection more often becomes the most appropriate option for disposing of waste. Bayroid's full circle cuttings reinjection service for treatment and downhole injection of drill cuttings helps lower costs, can eliminate disposal steps, and meets environmental requirements for zero discharge. Drill cuttings are collected at the shakers and then transferred to the slurry unit. If the injection operations are located at the rig site, the drill cuttings are transferred to the slurry unit via mechanical or pneumatic conveyance. In this particular case, the injection operation is located off-site, thus waste transport is needed. At the slurry unit, fluid is added and the cuttings are ground into a specified consistency and particle size using a two-stage hammer mill, an industry-leading technology unique to Bayroid. Cuttings are transferred via auger from the pits into the coarse tank, also known as the grinding tank, as shown by the red arrows. From here, cuttings are picked up by the pumps and transferred through pipes to the classifying shaker. At the shaker, any cuttings that are below the classifying point go through the shaker screens into the conditioning tank, also known as the fines tank, where the slurry is conditioned to predetermined injection specifications. If needed, slurry properties are adjusted with chemical additions through the hopper. Oversized solids that do not pass through the shaker screens are transferred via auger to the two-stage hammer mill for further grinding and move back into the coarse tank. The cutting slurry continues to recirculate in this loop until all solids are reduced to the classification size and the slurry meets the slurry specification for viscosity and density. After slurification, the fluid is pumped to a holding tank. And then injected directly into the injection well for disposal. Daily reports are transmitted to regional and global offices to share best practices and optimize performance. Once injection operations are complete, all equipment can be removed from the surface except for the disposal wellhead. 